everybody welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie if you're new here welcome to mask monday ladies so today you guys is the first day of spring yes i am filming this on sunday which is um our first day of spring for 2022 so i decided instead of doing a mask today i want to use my tria laser and laser my face um well, it's been a while since I've done this with you guys, so I thought I would do that. So I've had this tree laser for a while. I do use it periodically. It does stimulate um, the production of collagen. It can be very drying on your skin and can make you peel if you use it very, very frequently. So I have cleansed my face. We're going to go ahead and use the tria. And then afterwards, I have some vitamin C and hyaluronic acid from Eco... Let's see. Who is this made by? It says Bio, Bio Branding SL. Well... I got it recently in a subscription box. Gonna put that on first, and then I'm gonna follow up with some Pure Lease. This is the Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer. So that is the plan instead of doing a sheet mask. So the Tria has power buttons on the top, has three levels. So when you start off until your face, you're used to lasering, you start on the lowest level because it stings. It is literally lasering your skin. Now I've been lasering for so long, I just go right up. So I'm gonna show you guys. See, it's on, and I've got it at the third, the highest level. You see the three, three lights are on. So it will not turn on until I put it on my face. So, and the nice thing is it gives you four zones, one, two, three, four, and it will beep and tell you when to move from one zone to the next. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's a little loud. You can hear it, and that's the fan running on it. So today, you guys, we have finally had some really nice weather. Um... Thursday, the clouds started to roll in. It got kind of gross and overcast. Then pretty much Friday, uh, all day, and then through the night and a good portion of Saturday, it was still raining. We got a lot of rain and we have a lot of mud now. So that was a little disappointing because, um, you know, I really have talked about how I want to get stuff done on the farm as we're getting into slightly warmer weather. There's a lot of cleanup that can happen before the grass turns green, the leaves come on the trees, the bugs come out, the bugs are out, some of them are out. Um, so I've been trying to get into the woods with the chainsaw. We have had some strong storms come through over the winter and uh, have several tree limbs that are down. So basically what I have been doing is taking our smallest chainsaw and kind of cutting a path to get to those trees, cutting all the scrubby brush away so that we can get at the trees that need to be actually final cut down. So been doing a lot of that and just cutting along our tree line to make mowing easier along the tree line um, cleaning up limbs that are kind of half cracked and down just cutting a lot of stuff up to make basically it more enjoyable to be around the woods <laughs> so i did get in today and i spent several hours in there it's pretty exhausted uh that's a lot of really hard work um kudos to those men who are lumberjacks and who operate these chainsaws every day they're so heavy um, and my hands are just, I'm tired from this. Um, it's really, there's the beep telling me to move. Um, you know, the chainsaw probably weighs 20 to 25 pounds, probably 20 pounds. So you're carrying that and you're lifting it and you're swinging it a little bit and you're, hump, you know, you're bent over. Um, so honestly, it was, it's exhausting. Like very sore muscles, sore legs, sore arms like all of my arms down to my hands. <laughs> um, if I don't keep this perfectly on my skin, it shuts off. If you guys heard that. Um, yeah, my back really sore just from having to bend over. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's just been really nice to kind of clean stuff up because if you don't keep on top of it, it overgrows. And there's areas where we were having trouble mowing <laughs> because, you know, the tree limbs were kind of smacking you in the head and you know, and then, like I said, Mother Nature has knocked a bunch of trees down that are fallen onto where we mow. So we have to get at that, but some of it you can't get at because it's so overgrown. But um, yeah, it's just nice. And then you guys, I am so excited for spring and to be able to start my flowers. My flowers coming. I bought some more like rhizomes and I bought seeds. Um, I'm going to put some more um, bleeding hearts along our woods because those are actually um, wildflowers for Wisconsin and approved to be put in and they're so pretty so I bought some bleeding heart rhizomes that I'm going to put in and hope they take I transplanted a few last year from a friend of mine's woods I don't know you guys it was so droughty last year they were in areas that was really hard to get at with water I did my best hauling water for about a month and then I don't know we'll see if they come back I sure hope they do but we'll see it was a pretty bad year last year I hope this year's better so you see how red I'm getting 
kind of surprised I'm not hearing the beep to go to the next, the next spot on my face. I do do my neck. Got to get the collagen going on the neck, especially as you get older. You get that crepey neck look. Oh, there it is. Um, so we do have to pick a winner for last week's Mass Monday Ladies video. And I do have a giveaway ready for this one too. We'll get into that as soon as I am done doing my face here. But I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope your weekend was good. I know the men uh, in my life have been obsessed with March Madness and watching basketball. So pretty much, um, it's kind of like what we call in Wisconsin for when it's deer hunting season. It's like deer, deer hunter widows, you know, we are, uh, yeah, pretty much on our own because the guys are glued to the television. Like there's so many games going on all day and all night. So <laughs> whatever, let them do it. Let them enjoy it. Right. Um, so I did spend, um, part of the day on Saturday because like I said, the weather wasn't great for being out in doing things as far as like on the property, you know, I couldn't get out with the chainsaw. It had been raining. It was so muddy. So I have a very good friend of mine who lives um, in the same town where I have my post office box. And we got together in the afternoon. We went grocery shopping, brought all our groceries back, grabbed our binoculars and went birding and saw some beautiful ducks, two types of morgansers, saw the uh, black, I think it's called an American cooch, saw the, um, the snow geese, which we were surprised to see. We hadn't seen any snow geese, but we saw snow geese. A uh, couple um, different types of woodpeckers, hairy woodpecker, um, was a yellow-bellied woodpecker, um, you know, lots of other stuff we'd seen, obviously, as well. But things that were new for I hadn't seen yet was several types of ducks. So that was really cool to see. You know, all the migrations are happening. Obviously, we saw lots of um, Canadian geese and mallard ducks, um, seagulls, the... Um, Red winged blackbirds are back. Lots of cardinals, um, they're back. Robins have been back for a while. Uh, lots of chickadees are out. So that was, you know, we've been used to seeing those, but um, it was really, really neat to see some of the ducks that have arrived due to um, migration. So, and I'm not a hugely knowledgeable in like the types of birds. So we had our cell phones out and we're, you know, like looking up, okay, what kind of duck is this? So, um, couple other kinds that I can't remember what they were called, but really cool. Oh, and the blue herons are back. So we saw blue herons. Um, earlier this last week, we had gone to um, the dam nearby. There's a, a dam nearby. Saw a couple of, we saw a, a bald eagle and then we saw a juvenile bald eagle. So we saw an adult and a juvenile. That was really neat. Saw a kingfisher, um, you know, a bunch of other birds as well. But the unexpected sightings were... Honestly, the juvenile bald eagle was really cool because, you know, you can see adults in the area a lot, but the juveniles, that was really cool to see. Um, and then, like I said, the kingfisher was really surprising to see. That was cool. Um, so, yeah, the birds are coming back, which is great. I filled all my bird feeders up. Come on. Yeah, I'm having trouble keeping this on my skin and keeping it going. Look how red I am, you guys. So that is the laser. Oh, come on. It's not wanting to go. Come on. Let me turn it off and turn it back on. Okay, there we go. So it was a really nice afternoon of birding. And then because, honestly, because it's March Madness and the men are all they're doing is watching basketball games, she and I just decided to make a night of it. We ordered in pizzas um, and just had a girl's night, which was really nice. Uh, it had recently been her birthday, so I brought her birthday present over. We had dinner, you know, and kind of chit-chatted and relaxed. And um, she put a movie on. I'm still having some trouble with too much movement on screen, but it, it was, it was okay. So, um, it's, I would say my vertigo is like probably 99% better. Um, every now and then I, I move a certain way and it, it, it's offsetting and I get a little vertigo, but it's so much better than it has been. So, all right, I'm just going to get a couple more spots. You guys, since I've turned this on and off, it reset the timer. I don't want to overdo it, but I can end up very swollen if I'm not careful. Um, I think that's good. So I am very red. Um, so now it's really hydration time. So what the, the laser does is it punches holes in your skin. If you get laser paper and run the tree laser across it, you can see it kind of looks like just tons of little holes being poked. So it's really important to follow up with good serums and moisturizers. So this is um, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and green tea extract. This is what it looks like. Gan got this in a recent box. I'm trying to remember where I got it. Guys, after a while, all the boxes start to run together on me. So, oh, and it feels so cooling. I'm bright red because, of, you know, your laser is it's hot. 
Um, I had a good peel from last week, my Mask Monday Ladies video where my friend Danny and her son Luke were on. I had a nice peel. Uh, so that went very well. It wasn't like the type of peels that you get in, uh, if you go into a spa, an esthetician, or even your derm. Those are really intense peels. And um, those are the types of peels you should only have done by a licensed professional. We don't quite go that deep. Um, so, because those can be dangerous if they're not done properly. So the peels that I do are over-the-counter peels. Anybody can do them. You know, you do have to obviously take precautions and understand what you're doing and work up to them. But the type of peels that the estheticians or dermatologists do are with much stronger acids. And a lot of them are meant to penetrate deeper than the type of peels that I've been doing at home. So, all right, this is soaking in. It feels so good. Um, went down the neck. I'm going to follow it up with my Blue Lotus Pure Lease. Um, I do have their matcha green tea that I'm almost out on, but uh, I could probably try to use this up. Maybe I'll do that. What do you think? Let's go ahead and see if we can use this up. It's, it's pretty low. There's not a lot left. And if I run out, I can always grab the Blue Lotus. Let's go ahead and change plan and use the matcha green tea. It smells really good. Ooh, it feels so good. So a nice layer of moisturizer after lasering is really important you want your face to be super duper clean before you do the laser really important um, and then you want to make sure you follow up with a really solid moisturizer and you know if you want to do serums like i did that's awesome as well my plan was all that good hyaluronic acid that was in that serum i definitely wanted plus the vitamin c that good antioxidant in there oh this feels so good i love pure lease products you guys Honestly, amazing, amazing stuff. Um, yeah, this one says Dublin, Ireland and made in the USA. Uh, it feels so good. So like I mentioned, if you do laser, you can work up to lasering every day. Um, it will dry the skin down. It acts kind of like a peel. You can start peeling from it. So uh, it can be very irritating if you are unaccustomed to lasering. So because I have been peeling, I have not been doing a lot of lasering. Um, but specifically, I do this because it does build, suggest building um, collagen to your skin. So drills holes in there, gets your skin to stimulate that buildup of collagen. So this is it. The Tria still sells these lasers. I, you guys, have had this laser more than five years. So been taking very good care of it. It still lasts great. Um, so if you are looking at investing in one of them, they're fairly pricey. But, I mean, it's lasted me a very long time. So very happy with it. Probably easily five or seven years. So um, they're rechargeable battery on it. I just run it till it dies and then charge it back up. Never had a problem with it. It's, it's lasted a long time, knock on wood. So um, y'all, let's go ahead and cut over now to pick the winner for last week's giveaway. Remember that if you're gonna enter, you should make sure you circle back to see if you're the winner and claim your prize the following week um, because you get 48 hours to contact me once I announce who the winner is. You have to contact me to claim your prize, okay? And what I need is your uh, email address and I need your mailing address so that I can get you your, your goodies. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and cut over. You guys, and once you see who the winner is, please, I just ask you in the comments not to name the winner. Just, you know, say congratulations to the winner. If you know the person and you want to contact them, let them know they won. I don't mind that at all. I just don't want it down in the comments because a lot of times people just read through the comments to see if they won. They never watch the video. So I am trying to avoid having people do that. So let's pick the winner and then let's come back and let's look at the giveaway for this week. All right? Hang tight, everybody. All right, everybody, welcome back. It's time to pick our winner for last week's Mask Monday Ladies, which is this video here. This is when I had my friend Danny and her son Luke were over. We did a chemical peel. So let's go. I did paste the URL into the comment picker and the word you needed to use, which was picked by Miss Danny, was puffy. So let's see how many entered. We had 40 entries. So good luck, everyone. Miss Lori Latimer says, hi, Stephanie. It's always fun to have a guest and to do things together. I hope your face didn't get puffy after the peel. Thank you for sharing. Happy Mask Monday. Hugs and kisses from Lori. So I'm just going to go quick over to her channel and verify she is still subscribed to me. So hang tight, everybody. All right, everybody. Here we are on Lori's channel. And of course, here I am. You can see she is publicly subscribed to me. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Miss Lori, she is a YouTube creator. Make sure you check out her channel. She is a sweet, sweet lady. Congratulations, Miss Lori. You are my winner. So you know how to contact me. Drop me an email at opinionatedhorsewoman at gmail.com. Or if you want to reach out to me via DM on Instagram, that works as well. So 
Congratulations, my dear. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and get back to Mass Media. All right, everybody, you. congratulations to the winner. A reminder, you can either contact me via email, which is opinionatedhorsewoman at gmail.com, or you can send me a direct message on Instagram. And of course, my Instagram is opinionatedhorsewoman. Those are the two methods that I would prefer you to use to contact me. Please don't go through Facebook, you guys. I honestly am never not on Facebook very much, and I'm afraid I'll miss your message. So just either, I, you know, easily send me an email because then I'll have your email address, which I need. And of course I do need your address, okay? All right, so let's get into this week's giveaway. So we've got a couple items we'll start off with. You guys have saw this last week. This is a vitamin E infused essence mask from The Creme Shop. This is Korean beauty. This is amazing. This mask stays on for 10 to 15 minutes, although I often leave these crumb shop ones on longer. But always make sure you check the ingredients to make sure you are not allergic to anything or have, you know, it doesn't irritate your skin. So that is a nice mask. And then I, you guys, my feet in the, in the wintertime are always so dry. So I love giving these to you guys. <clears throat> this is a foot mask. Um, Be Pure. It's lavender scented, ultra moisturizing, nourishing, and softening. Now you gotta remember, you guys, when you use these, do not walk around, okay? They make your feet very slippery. It says you can leave these on 15 to 30 minutes for moisturization. If you like cannot sit still, make sure you cover these with a pair of socks and slippers or shoes. I'm telling you guys, your feet are gonna be very, very slippery. This is moisturizing, you might fall. In fact, I would probably say you very likely would fall if you were not wearing either some slippers with a grip or shoes. So. The idea is that you relax, sit back and relax, okay? I would probably have a towel nearby when you're done with these, you can kind of wipe off your feet. And then again, remember your feet are gonna be very soft and slippery, so have a pair of slippers or some socks and shoes nearby, okay? But they are a lot of fun to do and they really work so nice on your feet. Then we have this, <clears throat> this is also from Be Pure. This is a vitamin C and E. It is a three-step facial kit. All right, so step one, you tear open the packet and empty the contents in your hand. You apply it to the wet face. Gently massaging your fingers for 60 seconds. Step two, you tear open the packet and empty the contacts into your hand again. Apply to your face in circular upward strokes. And then step three, tear open the packet and remove the mask. Unfold and place it on your face for 10 to 20 minutes. So a couple of serums that you put on and then you follow it up with the mask. Kind of fun, very nice day of spa relaxation. And then the final item you guys, I wanted to give you guys was this estate um, pigment palette. It's called Baby Girl. So there it is. Let's take a look. Got a little sleeve. I have it in bubble wrap. It's so pretty, you guys. It does have a mirror and it does have a shade saver. So I'm gonna just cover the mirror so I don't blind you guys, but beautiful neutral palette with some tendencies with some pinks and some neutral shades. So pretty, you guys. If I didn't already have these shades, I would keep this. I think this palette is stunning, okay? Really, really pretty. Look at that, beautiful pinks, neutrals. Honestly, it's so pretty. Some shimmers in there. Isn't that great? That's a great palette. If I didn't have these, you guys, I have a bunch of shades very similar. I would absolutely be keeping this. So it's a pigment palette. It indicates it's going to be highly pigmented. So that's awesome. Again, uh, it is from Estate Cosmetics. They are out of Canada, I believe. So, all right. So how do you enter to win this giveaway? First of all, you must be publicly subscribed to my channel. All right. If you don't know how to do that, I have a link down below in the description that explains to you from YouTube what that means and how that works. Um, you need to be 18 years of age or older, making you an adult, a legal adult. You need to have a mailing address in the United States, okay? <clears throat> Anywhere in the United States, um, 50 states plus uh, District of Columbia. If you live internationally, if you have a friend in the 50 United States or the District of Columbia who would accept a package on your behalf, that's fine. I just can't afford you guys to ship stuff internationally. It's really expensive, really, really expensive. There's a whole lot of work that has to go into customs and all. It's just, it's really difficult. So. Um, I'm not responsible for any local, state, or federal taxation on this. I paid for all these items on my own, either outright or via a subscription box service. So uh, none of the brands that you see in this giveaway, nobody is affiliated with this. Like I said, I purchased all these items on my own, okay? YouTube's not affiliated at all either. Um, this is going to run for a week. So it's going to close Sunday, uh, March 27th, 2002, okay? And how you enter is you're going to need to leave a comment down below. You need to give this video a thumbs up, okay? So your comment down below has to include a word and this word has to be used in sentence format like always, okay? And have fun with it, you guys. And because today is the first day of spring, of course I am choosing the word spring. So have fun with it, use it in a sentence, all right? The word is spring. Uh, we will pick the winner next week, Sunday. It, this is gonna close 6 p.m. on the 27th, okay? And that's 6 p.m. Central Time, okay? Which is, I am on Central Time. All right, you guys, all, 
all the rules are going to be down below in the description on this. And I encourage you guys to check out the description on my videos. A lot of you guys don't. And I will explain to you. I often explain to you guys how much subscription boxes and things cost. Or I say it's down in the description. And I always get people asking in the comments, well, I don't know what this, how much was this? And I'm like, it's in the description. <laughs> so there's a lot of information I provide to you guys in the description on my videos. I encourage you to look at it because a lot of them are discount codes, you guys. You can save money. <laughs> So that's part of the fun of being an influencer is getting availability for us to provide discounts for our subscribers. So I have like a whole list of discount codes and affiliation type things down below. A lot of them are like save 10%, 15, 20, 30. So I encourage you guys to check those out. Use them if you would like, um, you know, no big deal. But yeah, good luck everybody. And congratulations to uh, our winner for this week. Like I said, either an email to opinionatedhorsewoman at gmail.com or a DM uh, if you have Instagram and you want to DM me, that's fine. And of course I am Opinionated Horsewoman. And you guys make sure it's spelled the same way my channel is. Make sure there's a lot of scamming that is happening on uh, Instagram. And for some reason, Meta, who owns Facebook and owns Instagram, is not doing a very good job of controlling the scamming going on on Instagram. So it can tend to be a little bit, a little hairy over there, but... Um, I just have the one account, so make sure you check that out um, if that's, you know, how you're going to contact me. It is the same exact name as my channel here on YouTube. All right? Watch the spelling on it. Make sure you're not getting caught by somebody who is trying to impersonate me. So, um, all right, you guys. Thanks so much. My my face is on fire, and it is it the redness, it's as hot as it feels, and that is part of lasering is you're going to feel that heat for a while. So, That'll calm down overnight. I may be a little puffy um, tomorrow. I tend to get real puffy like right in here around my under eyes and kind of that area right here. Uh, that may or may not happen. I am usually try to be a little careful with the laser on it, but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you got questions about the tree laser. Like I said, I've had it for a long time. I've been using it for a very long time. I really enjoy it. Um, like I said, it helps to stimulate the building of collagen as we ladies get older and men too. We lose the collagen in our face, right? We start to age, everything starts to sag. So anything we can do to encourage our bodies to stimulate the uh, collagen production in our faces helps out. So, all right, you guys have a great Monday. I will see you on my next video. Bye everybody.